there, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another sweet lesson. Today, it is going to be called the Volume Challenge, and I am going to challenge you to make a project with an exact volume of 20 cubic centimeters. So let's get cracking. So, friends, I'm going to challenge you to use a total of 20 cubic centimeters, and I'm going to have you start by bringing out a cube, clicking any corner and holding shift so it grows crazy amounts, and then simply type the number 10 and press enter. What that does is it takes our cube and makes it 10 millimeters on a side, which is one cubic centimeter. And I'm going to call this our base building block, and I feel like building with blue. So to build our cool designs, where each of you should make something different, we need to take this and make it different sizes. I'm going to scroll out a bit. I'm going to do Control D to duplicate it. I'm going to move it off to the other side. And I'm going to take this measurement that was 10, and I'm going to make it 5. So now I've got a half cubic centimeter. I'm going to make it a different color, just so it's easy to keep track of. I'm going to also make a fourth uh, of a cube. So this way I can use four of them to make a cubic centimeter. And I'm going to shrink it on this side by five. And that's what a fourth of a cube would look like. The last piece that I want to turn this into is a eighth of a cube. So eight of these little bricks would help me build something. And there you hear the word bricks. So yes, this is a little bit like Minecraft. So now I've got this custom shape. I'm going to pick a different color for both of these. Let's go pink. Let's go orange, just because it keeps them separate. And we're going to bring out one more awesome piece, the wedge. I'm going to take that wedge. I'm going to hold shift, shrink the corner, type the number 10. And because I was holding shift, it does all of them at once. And that, my friends, is exactly half of a cube. I'm going to keep that color. And I'm going to prove to you it's half of a cube quick by clicking Control D. And then I'm going to click on the cube, switch to flip, and I'm going to stand it up. And then I'm going to switch it this way with the flip tool so it proves same shape. Now we can also use a half of one of these by taking the measurement. And I'm going to move it aside so it's easier to see me do it and changing that to 5. If you're an advanced student out there, you can Google how much a sphere would be or calculate any of the other shapes if you want to use them. But these are the ones that I'm going to recommend. Once again, your challenge is to build something cool using 20 cubic centimeters. For my example, I'm going to use a funny little robot. I'm going to start by using this block for his feet. I'm going to do Control D and put them side by side. And then I'm going to make sure that I'm looking at it from the front so I know the right way I'm building. And I really like those front corner views. So those are his two feet sticking out. Let's use the same parts for his legs. I'm going to do Control D on both of those. And then I want to look at it from the side corner so that it's easy to stand those two new ones up. Remember, if you stay close to the shape, it does 90 degrees. I want to lift them all the way up on top of this piece. So I'm going to do the work plane trick where I simply click work plane, click the place I want to put them. And when I hit the letter D, it drops them to that height. I'm going to shut off my work plane by clicking the blue. I'm going to look at them from the top and grab all four of those pieces. And then I'm going to use another amazing tool, the align tool, to line them up. Let's go back to one of those corner views. And you can see those are pretty nifty legs. And if we're doing the math, I have just used one cubic centimeter. I'm going to make his legs twice as tall, so I'm going to click both of these, and I'm going to do Control D again to duplicate a second time. I could lift them by hand by just simply using this cone and get them to the right height. If I ever go too far, I can hit the W for work plane with the two pieces selected, hit D to drop them to the right height. Let's shut that work plane off by clicking the ground. I'm going to grab my cube and I'm going to bring it up on top of here to start making the body of my robot. Work plane again, click that spot, and I'm going to hit D. Notice it drops to the exact height, and now I'm going to just use the arrow keys to nudge it into place. I want to have two of these chunks, so I'm going to do Control D, 
and I'm gonna nudge it to the side. And then this helps me see that I want my legs to be spread further apart. So I'm gonna grab that entire leg and just use the arrow keys to get it to the right location as well. Now when I say right, just remember that everybody's building their own cool ones, so it's right in my mind. I'm gonna bring the body in front a little bit so that way it kind of lines up over the feet. And let's do a quick count. Remember this was one cubic centimeter, two, three, and a half. I wanna keep track of my measurements, so I'm gonna press W and click on the front. I'm gonna bring out the text, and in this box I'm gonna type 3.5 so I can remember that I'm at 3.5 cubic centimeters so far. So out of my 20, I've actually got quite a bit of centimeters to still play with. Let's press W to get that work plane back to the normal location. I'm going to add two more chunks of these body pieces by doing Control D and lifting it up, just using the cone. If you go too high, you can use that drop trick. If you do it exactly right and don't touch anything else, you can press Control D and it will make an exact copy of what you just did. Keep in mind that I want to make sure mine is not incredible so you can make one more incredible than me. I'm going to take this where it's 3.5 plus 4, so we're at 7.5, and I'm going to make my crazy robot look in both directions by duplicating it, and then I'm going to nudge it back, and then I'm going to flip it around using the rotate tool, or even better yet, the flip tool, so that my legs point both ways. Once I select off those, I can double check to make sure it lines up just the way I want. So I've grabbed all those pieces, and I'm going to connect it just like that. So now I have used 3.5 plus 4, which is 7.5. So I've used 15 of my blocks for my crazy robot. I'm going to give him a head by simply clicking this piece, setting the work plane on top, and doing D for drop. And now I can use the arrow keys to move that into location where I would want the head to be. I'm going to look at it from a corner so I can see that rotation handle better. And I'm going to turn the head around so I can see it. I'm going to use this little pink one as the eyeballs. And I'm going to drop those up here. When I do D, that puts it on the flat location. And then if I just drag it up, it stays right on that spot. To make this look a little better, I'm going to use more of these for my head so I'm going to use four of them so there's control D and then move another one and then I'm going to hold shift and click both of those and this time when I do control D I can just lift those up and move them into place that's another whole cubic centimeter and now I can put my eyes I'm going to do control D and I'm going to just nudge that one to the other side let's shut off that work plane and do a quick count of how many cubic centimeters I've used Remember, this was 7.5, and this is 7.5, so there's 15. Notice I accidentally staggered my feet funny. I kind of like that, so I'm going to just quickly do that to both, making sure that I grab those four. So if they just touch the four pieces you care about, pop. You can do that same move. Looks like I was three out. So once again, 15. These two are 16, 17. 17.5. I think I want eyes on both sides, so I'm going to just touch both of those with the selection tool and do Control D. Because I'm using this work plane, I can just use my arrow keys and pull my eyes through, making sure that I'm happy. This whole thing is one millimeter off, so I can just grab that whole thing, nudge it over to where I want. That puts me at 17 and a half cubic centimeters, and I'm going to use this little fella as my arms. So I'm going to just rotate it 90 degrees. Remember, if you stay close to the shape, then it snaps to those nice little uh, tick marks to get the 90. If you're having trouble, you can zoom in so you can see it better. With that rotated, I'm going to zoom back out. I'm going to use Fit Home. And then I want to attach that arm right on this side. So there's my W for my work plane. Click on the piece and drop it to that flat spot. And then I can use the arrow keys to just move it into place to make sure that you're where you want. 
you can hit the side view so you can really line it up nice and evenly hit fit view to selection so that it zooms in and gives you a better look and see if that's where you want to put your arms I'm gonna quickly duplicate that little piece I'm gonna use the flip tool to flip it I'm gonna spin around to my other side and put the work plane over here let's spin back to that other side and I'm gonna use the cool uh, view cube to just spin it and then when I click on the one that attaches to that wall if I hit D it drops it to the other side if you remember right it takes four of these to make a whole cubic centimeter so this half plus this half gets us to 18 I'm gonna do the rest of my arms with these cool little 1 fourth ones but I'm gonna show you a neat way to add them so they show up the way we want when you click W click on the angled work plane you want and just go back to your normal box and do the same trick where you stretch it but then type 5 for the sides you can move it to where you want and then we want the length of them to be 10 so it was 5 on a side but 10 in length and remember we can use 4 of those to make a whole cubic centimeter so I'm gonna do control D I'm gonna click on the new work plane and I'm gonna press D to drop my second piece of arm right there I'm gonna click shift on those and if we look at this from that left corner we can see that it needs to move over one and it looks like maybe down one to get it as perfect as we can I can also click on this work plane so that I'm using the flat and then if I hold shift and click on the first red piece the second red piece and the angled arm we can go back to that awesome align tool and align your three pieces so that you're happy with them I'm happy with that you could repeat that step for this side or if you're feeling fancy do control D the work plane is flat so I can just use the arrows to move it across and then the important thing is we need to rotate it 90 degrees I'm gonna get to a corner so I can see that and then from this rotation if we just snap 90 degrees it is in the right place to be attached let's put that work plane on the angle and when we hit D it drops it to that exact right spot and then we can use the arrow keys to nudge it down to where we want that arm to be that is a whole cubic centimeter which puts us at 19 for this style of robot of course you're making your own cool robot I'm gonna wrap mine up by just adding little buttons I'm gonna do control D with this press W to put it on the chest and when I hit D it drops it out there and I'm gonna move it down and I'm gonna put these in the middle I'm gonna do control D again that one I need to drop back to that work plane remember it takes eight of these so I'm gonna put three of them right there right now I'm holding shift I'm doing control D to duplicate and I'm also gonna put three back here I'm gonna hit D to drop them there nudge them up to where I want and then I'm gonna take my last two and I'm gonna make them as kinda ears control D I'm gonna hit W to drop it to the exact right height with the D command I'm gonna hit W and click on this shape I'm gonna hit D to drop it use the arrow keys to nudge it that was a right click rotate if you're wondering how I moved that now I'm gonna hit control D gotta drop it back to that level and I'm gonna nudge it to the other side so friends there is my crazy 20 cubic centimeter robot I can now hit W to move it back to the ground level I can hit delete on the little measurements I put uh, impress yourself impress your teacher see if you can make something way cooler than me using 20 cubic centimeters 
Alrighty friends, so you have just completed the 20 cubic centimeter volume challenge. Uh, if you're in a classroom, I hope you had fun with this. If you did, please hit that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know if there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Boy.